Hi, have you ever run into the issue where you pull in a uh, WFS, a web feature service, into your project in ArcGIS Pro, ArcMap, or QGIS, and you want to export it, but you're running into issues and you can't just export it? Well, um, I was recently running into that problem while I was working on something for the Community Maps Challenge, and my brilliant husband made a suggestion that ended up working, and so I wanted to share that with all of you. So right now we are looking at parcel data for the county of Lake in uh, Northern Illinois. And so if I go to the, um, this, this is the web, um, the WFS, and if I go to uh, data um, export features, I'm not able to actually export the features there. And that, it's really concerning. I'm like, what is going on with this? Well, it turns out that they, that the makers of this WFS have turned off feature extraction on that feature layer, but they're still able, they're, they're still letting you like do feature extraction and um, do things with this data. You just can't get it that way. So uh, what I ended up doing um, is you can get, get it a number of ways. So if I just, um, like select um, these few blocks of data. And then if I go over to geoprocessing and I did a clip, but I'm pretty sure if we also do a feature class to feature class, um, and I'm gonna put the input features as being this parcels web mercator, and I'm just gonna call this um, export FC to FC test. And then I'm going to hit run, which is where my face is right now. Okay, so that ended up failing, um, and that's totally um, something that like, is because of the way that this feature service is set up. However, if we then go over here to clip, and I'm going to put my input features as being this um, web marketer, I'm going to clip this to, um, actually want to, I'm going to clip this to um, a feature class that's just like the, the town, and then we're going to um, to run this again and again. Of course, my head is in the way, and we're going to clip um, go run. And so that is going to run there, and we'll see. And right again, I only had like those two blocks um, selected, but it was we were able to extract them just fine. So this, again, is something that would work in both QGIS or sort of whatever uh, GIS software that you are working in. And the, the thing that is causing this is that there's a limitation on the exporting, but they don't have a limitation on you doing analysis off of it. So hopefully that is something that is helpful for you if you do not have an absolutely brilliant GIS-minded spouse who is able to come to your rescue. I am really thankful that you are here. It would mean a lot to me if you liked this video, put a comment below, and subscribe to my channel so that you can keep seeing other GIS tips and tricks. And I hope you have a great day.